love triangle takes a deadly twist after police say a woman's ex-boyfriend fatally shot her new boyfriend, then killed himself. We're live at 6 o'clock. I'm Colleen McVeigh. And I'm Stone Grissom. That terrifying scene played out in a restaurant parking lot. Police say the couple was confronted by the woman's ex-boyfriend. And then the argument turned deadly. News 12 Long Island's Jessica Borg has the story. He didn't seem like the jealous type at all. But police say jealousy is what drove 37-year-old Michael Skiatis to kill his ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend, 28-year-old Frank Panabianco, with a shotgun last night. Detectives say Panabianco and Jessica Caston were leaving this restaurant in Port Jefferson Station when Skiatis confronted them. An argument ensued. A friend of theirs tried to stop the argument. The ex-boyfriend produced a shotgun. Investigators say the couple tried to drive away from Michael Skiatis, heading north here on Patchogue Road. That's when police say Skiatis ran after the car, firing two shots, hitting Frank Panabianco in his torso. Of course we all feel horrified. Richard Eisenman was Panabianco's neighbor here in Mount Sinai. This afternoon, cars lined the street with loved ones paying their respects. A close friend told me the family is in shock. Panabianco was the oldest of four sons. I can certainly relate to the to the feelings of parents if if a kid predeceases a parent. It's just not what we were expected to uh, to see. A friend says Panabianco worked at a bank and liked to snowboard with his brothers. He only recently started dating 28-year-old Jessica Caston. Caston was reportedly living with Skiatis up until a few months ago at this apartment complex in Wisconsin. A next-door neighbor says the two were always together and in good spirits. They seem generally happy. Just a good couple, quiet, no arguing. Now, Skiatis was the owner of a local pub. Police say he had no criminal record. Right after shooting and killing Frank Panabianco, they say Skiatis turned the gun on himself, committing suicide in his car. His ex-girlfriend, Jessica Caston, was not hurt in the shooting. I'm just...